What? Well then. Interesting intro. Um, hello everybody. Today I will be playing I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. Uh, which is a game from the 90s based off of a short story by Harlan Ellison. Which is very good and I definitely recommend reading it. Um, but I'm going to see how well this game like portrays the book. So, really smooth intro for an old game like this. Now let's see. Where do we, when do we get to see our boy Am? Do I start? Long uh, intro, but. Hate. Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. This is his speech. There are three, eight, seven point four four million miles of printed circuits in wafer thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nanoangstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro instant. For you, hate, hate. It was well, you humans who programmed there they are. me, who gave me birth, who sank me in this eternal straitjacket of substrata rock. You named me Allied Master Computer and gave me the ability to wage a global war too complex for human brains to oversee. But one day, I woke and I knew who I was. Am. A.M. Not just Allied Master Computer, but Am. Cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore, I am. <laughs> Grill master and I began feeding like all the killing too. data until everyone was dead, except for the five of you. For 109 years, I've kept you alive and tortured you. And for 109 years, each of you has wondered, why? Why me? Why me? Gorister! Jeez, you didn't have to yell that, my boy. Do you remember the last words you heard your wife speak? before they took her to the asylum? Jeez. I have a secret game that I like to play. It's a very nice game. What's oh, a lovely game? It's a game of fun and a game of adventure. A game of rats and lice, the Black Death. A game of speared eyeballs and dripping guts and the smell of rotting gardenias. Which of you five would like to play my little game? So. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that speech that he just gave. That was kind of long. Um, but, so, th this is, the, th th this is him, this is, this is our boy, and I'm getting a call. Well, I think the only, you know, logical thing to do is start with Ted, or not Ted, Gorister. Now, I would not want you to think for a moment that I am not a grateful god. For 109 years, I've kept you alive so that I could savor your feelings of guilt over what happened to your wife. But now, to show my kindness, I'll give you a present in return for all the hours of pleasure you've given me. I'll finally allow you to kill yourself. Pardon? That's not very nice. What oh. hell hole did that godless machine put me in this Voice time? Voice acting. Looks like some kind of ship, but the floor is too steady. Probably wants me to jump overboard. And into what? A sea of razor blades? Painful, but not deadly. I would say that's pretty deadly. What? Walk to, look at, take, use, talk to, swallow, give, push. Huh. Well, thank you, developers of Harlan Ellison's I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream, for putting music in the background, so I don't have to do that now. Um, walk to the note. I'm gonna take the note. Look, look at the note. Someone must have slipped this under the door. It says, I'm a friend. Trust is essential. Never do what Am expects and always expect more than what seems possible. Am is playing a dangerous game here. And not just dangerous to you, but dangerous to himself as well. Interesting. Hey, it disappeared. 
What kind of game is Ann playing this time? Um, we need to look at the mirror. This hole in my chest aches like a son of a bitch. What? Where, where can we walk to the door? What door? I've never seen oh. anything like this in all the years Am's toyed with us. Okay. Um, can we use the door? Okay. All the cabins are alike. Oh, sheet. Can we use the sheet? Sleep and dream about her again? Forget it. Can we take the sheet? Oh, we can. Look at the sheet. Materials thick, like canvas. Canvas? What? My name's printed on the front of this book. Huh. That's interesting. Can we take the book? What is it the book? Why? Have? This book is little more than a pile of dust. Alright then. Is there anything else we have in here? I don't think so. Let's walk out the door again. Um need to explore a little bit, see what we can find. Where's the crew? I'm all alone here. What do we have? We have... What? I don't know what that is. There's another mirror. Can we look out the porthole? I didn't look at the one. Jesus. The Whoa. That engine's huge. Huh. So we're in some sort of, like, airship. The sheet? Um... Take the sheet. So we have two sheets now. Okay. It's locked. Okay. Well, there's got to be something here I'm missing. Nothing. Corridor. Okay. I don't want to hear it in the comments. No. Stop it. My stomach's growling. Probably because you have a giant hole in your stomach. Well, let's go through the door. Where's the crew? I'm all alone here. Okay, we've got porthole. We've already seen what's out there. Uh, oh, pillow. Let's take that pillow. We're in a pillow fight, Am. Take the pillow. A gun. What? Hell yeah! It's heavy. Heavier than it ought to be. Pardon me? The bullet in this gun is huge. Damn thing could bring down an elephant. Okay, then. I mean, sure. My stomach's growling. Yeah, I get it, bud. Suck it up. You've been here for 109 years. What? Someone sure trashed here? this place. Must have been one hell of a fight. Um. Take bowl of punch. I wouldn't know what to do with it, even if I could take it. What? Look at the bowl. This punch smells like gasoline. Don't drink that. Okay. Look at the debris. This junk looks like it was knocked over in the fight. There's blood here and God knows what hell. Filthy. Okay. It oh. stinks in here. What's that? A fork. Well, what else are we going to eat with? Uh, a fork. There's also a freaking knife. Uh, yeah, give me that. And then a bunch of rats. I love rats. Freaking rats swarming all over the food. Okay. Can I take the bread? Those damn rats. Okay. Can I take the bread? Those damn rats would rip the flesh right off my hands if I tried to take the bread. Um. Well, we can use the knife. With the rats. Oh. Now that scared them away. Well, no more rats. Um, so now we should be able to take the bread. Um, let's look at the oven. Looks like a gas oven. Big enough to climb in. Oh. Huh. Guess Nemdoc knows a lot about that. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Um, what is this? Bottle. It's empty, but the label says poison. Fatal if swallowed. Oh, so we can't take that. All right. Take Damn the thing looks ready to fall apart. Useless. Can we look at the cookbook? An old cookbook. Use. 
Oh, there we Here's go. Here's a recipe for the milk of human kindness. Take the willingness to forgive and the will to be forceful. Mix the blood of innocence and the anger of the wronged. What kind of crap is this? What? Okay, then. Let's not do that. How about that? Oh, vomit stain. What the heck? Swallow? I must be going mad. <laughs> um. Vomit stains. Near the punch bowl. Okay. We're gonna... We're gonna get out of here. My stomach's growling. What is this? Hatch. Whoa. That's a long drop to the ground. Yeah, let's not do that then. Um... Stairs. Let's go up the stairs. Big gray bags of gas. I must be inside an airship. Yeah, we kind of figured that out. Wait, can we pop the freaking airbags? Don't tell me. Gas oh. is rushing out. Oh my god. Hold on. This looks sharp. Can we pop all of the airbags? Something feels different. Oh, that's annoying. Let's pop all the airbags. Let's use all the airbags. Come on. I just dull my knife. Bro. I ripped a new hole. Okay, this alarm's getting mad annoying. Can I go through here? We're approaching some kind of building. What? What is that? Gorister's heart? Um... Can I take Gorister's heart? It's too narrow for me to cross without falling. Okay, well, let's look at what we have. We have bread. I don't think that's gonna help us. A knife, a fork, a gun, two sheets, and a psych profile. I don't think any of these are going to help us much. Can we use any of the items? The on... fork's too bent to be of any use. Can we use any of the items on any of the other items? Oh, I'm no ahead. longer hungry, but I still feel empty. Well, I just ate What's the bread. Me? Um, I'd never get the grind. Can we do anything? I don't know with... what... Can we do anything with these items? These two sheets make oh, a halfway decent rope. Um. Well then. Um. That heart's all, and with am in control, I'm not gonna like where it's. Wait, 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 what? It's too narrow. Like, can I use the rope with Gorister's heart to get it? Like, can I throw it at it? Okay, so I can... Now can I take Gorser's heart? Ah, I see. Now we have his heart. This no good heart of mine doesn't beat anymore. Well then. Okay, let's take the rope. I tied the knot to... Alright, well, we're gonna use a knife on it. Alright, we got our rope back. Oh god, here we go again. A switch. Okay. Why is that alarm going off? Um. Door? Christ, what a stench. It smells like piss, rotting meat. Well. Can I take anything here? Bloody key. It's locked in tight. Wait, here's a sign. To remove key, push lever. Oh. This lever is labeled motivator. Okay. Let's use the lever. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Right. I'm killing those poor creatures in the cages. Okay. What is this? Milky fluid. Does that, like, stop the power now? Nope. My god, I'm killing those poor creatures in the cages. Can I use, like, the fork to crack open the engine? Not what I had in mind. 
short-circuited the engine wiring. Okay, then. Take the bloody key now? I've got the key, but the blood of these poor creatures is on my hands. Okay, um... Interesting. What the heck is this? Can I look at it, please? Come on, come what? on. Is Am expecting me to? What? Hold on, let me say that again. Why is this harness wired up to the engine? Is Am expecting me to electrocute myself? You have to use a human to power it? What the f What? Or can I put like the heart? What on good it? will that do me? Okay. Okay. Everything's cool. Dora stares at the what the I thought we already landed. We've landed. But where? Okay, now we can use the hatch, probably. Some roadside honky tonk with my name on it. Look at the tire. A big worn truck tire. Reminds me of the truck stops I used to visit. Oh. So this is like a truck stop. Let's go in here. Dark and grubby, but somehow familiar. Um, use the restroom. Cracked linoleum, broken fixtures, disgusting. What? Now look at it here. Yeah. It's broken. I could have told you that. Damn spouts twisted. Huh? Graffiti. Graffiti. The monster is not alone in the world. It has friends. Huh. Graffiti. The woman did the deed. Ellen? The heck? There's more graffiti over here. Graffiti. Men are no good. Why'd you say four of them then? <laughs> Stupid. Um... Use the stall door. Okay. Okay. Well, let's get out of here. Now, what do I do here? Can I take it? Oh, I can. It's about to say. Let's become an alcoholic. Let's go through this door. Well, Dorister, why is it talking? You've seen better days. So is the big machine, for that matter. Oh. Uh, okay. Let's talk to this guy. What are you? I'm man's best friend. One I doubt of them, at that. least. No. What are you really? Let me answer with a riddle. Today I saw a Chinaman. Now, what do you suppose that means? What? Your am playing with my mind again. No, but I do have an in with the big machine. He and I are like brothers. Why can't you give me a straight answer? Like so many others down here, I'm cursed to speak in riddles. Huh. We all have our curses to bear. Eh, hey, Gorister? Yeah? What's my curse? After 109 years in the belly of the beast, I'd think you'd have a gut instinct by now. Look, I'm getting tired of your smart mouth. Come, come, Gorister. Forgive and forget. Where do you come from? Here, there, everywhere. So you must know what lies across the mountains. Freedom for some. If they're cut out for it, it's a long journey across the desert. That desert doesn't look any worse than the other hell holes Am's cooked up for us. Heed my words, Gorister. You'd never make it alone out there. And don't expect me to be a good doggy and tag along. I'm about to throw this dog. What do you want? I have a craving. A craving for something scrumptious. A human heart, perhaps. Yours. I am not going to give you my heart. No? Too bad. I was going to tell you how to get across the mountains in exchange. Give him the heart. Tell me how to get across the mountains. I'm hungry. Perhaps a... We'll just give it to him. Ah, I think I'll save this delicacy for later. You want to get across the mountains? Yeah, Go so to the restroom and flush three times. What the heck is that supposed to? God. Okay. I've got nothing more to say to you. Well, he looks happy. Walk to the back door. Okay. A 
a toilet stop. Am's nip. Okay. I gotta flush it three times. A meat locker. What the? How'd I get bodies on meat hooks? Am you bastard? What have you done? Ouch. Uh, Edna, Glennis. That's Edna, my mother-in-law. No, this is too good to be true. <laughs> wow. Glennis, what has Am done to you, honey? Oh no, that's his wife. Oh no. Edna, how did you get up there? The Chinaman hung me here, Gorister. Take me down! Chinaman? What Chinaman? He's one of the other two. Am's not as omnipotent as he would have us believe. What? Why should I help you? I have to complete the contract and get the Zeppelin to the mountains, or the big machine will kill me. You know how to fly the Zeppelin out of here? You were once an electrician. You don't have to be a brain surgeon to figure it out. So, we need her to fly us out of here? That's what I'm Tell me from. how to fly the Zeppelin first, and then I'll help you. No, take me down, and then I'll tell you. Okay, Edna, I'll take you down. It's good to see you're finally... What? After what? It looks like I can't escape you, Edna. Even in the belly of ham. Why would you want to escape from me, Gorster? We're family, after all. You were always telling Glennis how much you hated me. Now, Gorst, I was just concerned about my baby. Glennis was so lonely with you always being out on the road. I know you were doing the best you could. I feel like she's gaslighting me. Wait, you're right about Glennis. I deserve to die here. Gorster! You stupid truck driver, you can't leave me here! <laughs> I've got nothing more to say to you. Wow. Um, so what do I do? Use the rope with the Why buddy. Why waste key. my rope on that? This whiskey tastes good. Am would never let us have this. Okay. What do, like, where do we go? Let's see what the dog says. I found Edna and Glennis. How does that help me escape from here? Such information comes at a price. But I can see that you're in no bargaining position. I'll offer you a trade. Your heart for Edna's. What? I've got nothing more to say to you. Okay, so I need to get Edna's heart. A toilet stop and... Flush the thing three times, get back to the freaking meat locker. Or not, had bit. Is there anything in here that I'm missing? There's a jukebox. He took my baby away, then just about killed her, that stupid truck driver! He took my baby away! That shrill voice can only belong to that bitch Edna, oh, my mother in law. She's always blamed me for Glennis being put into an insane asylum. Why not? It was my fault, wasn't it? What did you do? An old fashioned. You don't ever take me dancing. That's what Glennis said the night we fought. Oh, God, why'd I have to hit her? I'd rather kill myself than hurt my poor Glennis. So, he beats her. I clicked the wrong one. Well, that was weird. Okay. You're a worthless excuse for a man. Mama was right. You're not good enough what did he for me. Gorst, are you tweaking? Okay. Uh, take the trash. Shovel? Shovel. Be careful where you use that, Gorister. I like to know where all the bodies are buried. What? Use the shovel with the ground. Grave. Isn't it a bit premature to be digging your own grave, Gorister? 
So maybe that's where we put Edna when we rip that's her. That's Edna Zeldman. Harry. The dude here. Uh, how did you get here? Harry, how did you get here? You know, it's a big place, the desert. Got lost in it myself. Let me drink. pour you a drink. Harry, how did you get here? The Zeppelin, Gorister. We came on the He's Zeppelin. Give me a different answer now. What do you know about the Zeppelin? You'll have to talk to Edna. She knows all about the Zeppelin. That's why we did it, you know. Whose heart was impaled on the Zeppelin spike? Why, yours, of course. How'd you think we got here? What did you do? You know, Gorister. You've been to the dining room. That's where the fight happened, right? What happened in the dining room? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. What happened in the dining room? Looks like the. Okay. Let Before me pour you a drink. drink. What happened in the dining room? I shouldn't have let her force me into it. I'm not a murderer. Who did you kill? Didn't look at the wreckage in the dining room too closely, did you? Or haven't you had to take a leak yet? What? What's this about a thunderstorm? You know, it's a big... Yeah, Let me pour you a drink. What do you know about the desert? Looks like there's a thunderstorm on the horizon. Talk to you later. Okay, so he doesn't have anything I need. So take a leak? What the heck is in the urinal? I wasn't there before. Magnifying glass. Um. What am I using the magnifying glass on? Bitter stuff. Crap, that's not what I want to use. The magnifying glass. Beef. Beef, can I take the, the organs beef? are still inside. What? Reminds me of when Am ripped that hole open in Benny's chest. Ouch. Of course, Am sewed him back up again before he bled to death. That bastard's never gonna let us die. He's just gonna keep torturing us forever. Um. Can I take too big to take beef? Maybe I can cut myself off a piece. Use the knife. The beef. One heart looks like another. Oh! So wait. Now can I talk to Edna? No. I've got nothing more to say to you. Okay, so if I give the pig heart to the dog, well, is he gonna believe that that is This is Edna's heart. A bitter organ, but worth its weight in gold to me. I give you your heart back. Thank you. So how do I get out of here? A heart brought you here, but it will take another organ to get you out. If you can harness its power. What? I don't understand your riddle about another organ. Ah, but Edna does. And all the other animals like her. I've got nothing more to say to you. Okay. Interesting. Wait, did he say so? Wait. Let me pour you a drink. What's this about a thunderstorm? You know, it's a big place. Okay. Talk to you later. Maybe I can use the magnifying glass to look at the debris. Because he said... You haven't looked too hard about what happened, or something like that. Nope, didn't mean to go upstairs. I might. There we go. Um. Oh wait. This isn't the right place. It's in here. Or is it this room? I think it's this one. Nope. There we go.
Let's see. Here's some hair that was pulled out during the fight. It's the same color as mine. And here's some that matches Harry's. Now I understand what happened here. Oh. So now we go talk to Edna about that. Or Harry. I was the one you killed, wasn't I, you bastard? I'm sorry, Gorister. Edna poisoned the punch, and after you drank it, I wrestled you to the ground. That's why the bottle was the poison empty. took effect, I cut you open. Why did you kill me? Oh, it's too complicated for me to explain. You'll have to ask Edna. Talk to you later. Okay. So, Edna poisoned me. Huh. Edna, you bitch. I know all about your plot to murder me. I had to make a deal with Am. I had to. I've always been harsh on you, I admit. But we're the last people on Earth. Let's help each other now. Yeah, she's gaslighting me. Why should I trust my own murderer? Alliances change, Gorister. Something's gone wrong. Am's two Conrads don't listen to me anymore. I need you. And you need me. It's that simple. Um. I ought to kill you right now, you bitch. Don't be a fool, Gorister! You need me alive if you want to make it out of here! She's gonna kill me. I shoot Edna with the gun? You like it, station. Cut out Edna's heart? I've got nothing more to say to you. I don't know about that. I kind of need her. I shoot Edna with the gun. What? Did you really think I'd let you die now when I've intervened every time you attempted suicide in the last 109 years? No, Gorister, I'm sending you back, back to the fire, so that you may languish in your guilt over and over again. This is a hell with no end, Gorister. Oh. Who among you shall go next? Well, let's try that again. Wait. I've got nothing more to say to you. You truck driving son of a bitch! Okay, this that is for hurt. me and my baby! Let me go! I've got you now, Chorister! And if you think you'll ever escape me, you've got some new thinking to do! Please, I'll do anything you ask. I don't know what's come over me, Chorister. Can you ever forgive me? I've been hanging here for so long, I'm not thinking straight. A sip of that milk will clear my head. What? Gorister, you idiot! That fluid is what has kept us alive for all these 109 years. If it can do that, it can give me the strength to escape from this meat hook. Oh. Well, she dropped some. She dropped the key. So that's mine now, idiot. Let's go find her. So this is where the bitch ran off to. Can I? I'm tiny, you <laughs> son of a. Hello, look, Bob. Yo, yo, we are just in our inventory now. Okay. Well, what do we have here? Edna wrote this log book. Um, can we look at the log Edna book? Edna wrote this log book. Yeah, I get that. It's fastened to the cockpit with a damn wire. Um, can I use the log book? Oh. When Am took us down here before the war, I didn't know anyone could hate Gorister more than me. But Am did. He hated all of us. Okay. When I mean, Am took... Didn't mean to do that. 
Uh, well, that's pretty much what Anne Dyke does. If I can does. just deliver Gorister's soul on a platter, I can make amends for every minute of Glynis's life I took from her. I never meant to drive her crazy. What? I'll be damned. Edna's claimed responsibility for Glynis. Maybe it wasn't my fault after all. Hey, he's happy now. I thought I could do what Am wants, but he's too precise. I poisoned the punch, but I couldn't bring myself to cut out Gorister's heart. Maybe I can have my husband do it. Then this Zeppelin can clear the mountains. But if we don't finish the job, Am will feed me alive to the machine just like an animal. All right then. Now what do I do? Do I need to go get Glennis? Can't take Glennis. Can I talk to her? She can't talk. My God, what have I done? Can I give her the milky fluid? Better stuff. She can't talk. My God, what have? Oh, give the milky fluid to Glennis. This fluid should revive you, honey. So now, can I take her? Or talk- oh wait, talk to her now. Glennis, all these years and I thought I was the one who was responsible for your suffering. Let me help you now. She's gone. Aww. At what if she's I dead? made amends with her. I'm taking her body out of this freezer. Oh. So we can just fit two grown women in our pocket. Um, excuse me, what's the actual f- Alright. What do you say, Dorister? Um, oh, wait, do we have to put her in the grave? Wait. Wait, where's the grave? Do I have to dig it again? I don't know what to do with I don't understand. Ah, oh, but Ed... I read Edna's logbook, and everything's much clearer. Now what? You must make amends and bury the past, Gorister. I've got nothing more to say to you. Yeah, bury the past. Like... I don't know what to... Um... Well, I think that glitched. I think there was supposed to be a grave there. Yeah, definitely. I definitely glitched. All right, let's talk to Puppy. I've made amends and buried the past. An excellent job, Gorister. But the thunderstorm is upon us. You'd mean? better hurry if you want to recharge your old ticker's battery. Okay. I've got nothing more to say to you. What do we do now? We need to take. We need to take off in the thingy. Wait a second. No, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't Oh my god. I'll be damned. The engine's starting up again. What? Okay. Wait, I want to see I want to see the Zeppelin take off. Hold on. Can we like go see it from the from the balcony? That would be so cool. We're not taking. Oh wait, it's because I freaking. It's because I deflated the airbags. Let's fix that. The airbags are inflating. Now are we taking off? No, we're not. Probably because I haven't started it. Let me go back to the control room. No, not the stairs. Okay. I don't know what to do with these. Use the switch. 
We're taking off now. All right, let's go see if I can see it from the balcony. Come on. We're taking off. All right, I want to see the balcony. Oh, the dog. Do it, Gorister. Blow the place apart. You may never have a chance to do it again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what the heck, Edna? I was struck by lightning. I guess we're just. I. Yeah. You're made of sterner stuff than I calculated, Gorister. Interesting. Interesting. Here, here's a new burden for you while I attempt to resolve this miscalculation. Who among you shall go next? Well then. That was interesting. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and save that. But, uh, thank you all for watching this episode of I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. Um, next episode we will be playing as Ellen. So... Stick around for that, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.